how to perform a hard drive upgrade on OS X El Capitan and Yosemite without losing any data. You can use any 2.5 SATA hard drive for this. We will need a SATA to a USB cable. Go ahead and plug the cable into the back of the hard drive. Now go ahead and plug the USB converter cable into the laptop. At the top right of the desktop, use the spotlight to find disk utility and open it up. Once open, go ahead and select the drive that we injected. Go ahead and click partition. Title the drive Macintosh SSD or HD depending on what kind of drive you're trying to install. We're titling it Macintosh SSD. Press the return key and press apply. Once this is done, we can go ahead and close the disk utility app. Go ahead and open up Safari and navigate to AppleDollars.com. We'll need to download software to clone your existing hard drive onto the new hard drive. Go ahead and click the download section. Find Carbon Copy Cloner CCC4 and click on it to download it. Once downloaded, go ahead and open it up. This is free software to try for 30 days. Go ahead and open it. Click move to applications folder. Agree to the terms and conditions. Click trial. Although purchasing the software might be a good idea, for now let's keep things free. Click the source window and select your current hard drive. Now click the destination window and select the Macintosh SSD. Click clone. You'll be prompted for your password. Go ahead and type in your password. This process can take anywhere from 10 to 90 minutes or even more depending on how much files you have on your hard drive. Once completed, Carbon Copy Cloner might ask you to create a recovery volume. We highly suggest creating the recovery partition. This only takes a few minutes. Once completed, click OK and go ahead and close Carbon Copy Cloner. Make sure to uncheck Start Carbon Copy Cloner when the computer starts and close it. Let's get your Mac year and size. Go ahead and click the Apple logo and go to About This Mac. Here you'll find your MacBook size and year. This one's a 15 inch 2010 model. Go ahead open up Safari. Again navigate to AppleDollars.com. Click on MacBooks. For our instance we'll click the 15 inch MacBook and the year 2010. Here you will find an interactive video map on how to replace all the parts. Find the hard drive and start playing the video. Here you'll learn how to replace the hard drive for your specific model. Now that we know this information, we can go ahead and proceed to the next steps. Eject the new drive. Note that now your entire computer is on this new drive. Go ahead and shut down your system. We'll be taking out the old drive now. Okay, let's install the drive. Go ahead and flip your MacBook over. Remove all the screws from the panel. Move the panel out of the way. If you run into trouble, AppleDollars.com is mobile friendly so you can log on to it with your phone. Select your screen size and your year and watch the video through your sometimes not so smartphone. Okay, let's remove the old drive and transfer the screws, put them onto the new drive, load it into the bay, secure it, and put back the panel.
there is a final step. We're going to need to perform an NVRAM reset. Simultaneously hold Command Option P and R after pressing the power button. This will dramatically improve boot up time. We'll be holding four of these buttons down at once. Locate the Command and Option P and R keys. Press the power button one time, then immediately hit the four keys before the screen turns gray. Keep holding this down until the screen turns black again, then you can let go. You've just performed an NVRAM reset. Now the computer can recognize the hard drive right away. We're all done. Thank you for watching.